Following a school board vote, the Estacada School District will be updating Buzz Randall Stadium to provide our students and community with a turf field. The district's current field is over capacity and often gets muddy and is deemed unusable. This results in canceled or relocated games and events. When the field is used, the condition of the playing surface results in student injuries and reduced athletic opportunities for all students. Our district prioritizes giving students the opportunities and resources needed to be competitive, as well as safe in their learning and extracurricular activities. The district's strategic plan also aims to provide up-to-date facilities that support learning and partnerships. The current district field poses a threat to that aim, and because of that, the school board has voted to move forward with the purchase and installation of a turf athletic field. Our school board has looked at the data, dollars, and research on a turf field and has also listened to student voices to help guide this discussion. Let's take a look at what some of our students have to say about the current field and how it's impacting their experience in our schools. For me, it kind of looks uh, a little bit dangerous because I can take out a, a kid's ankle if I accidentally slip on it or my own because it doesn't like, you don't have much movement, you know? And if you want to make like a fast movement, like it kind of gets, like, gets stuck in the mud. The, the ball doesn't move the same as on turf. And uh, you also, you have trouble with traction a lot of the times when it's wet. And there's like, there's always a chance that you slide and like hurt your knee or like twist your ankle. There's always that possibility of getting hurt a little bit. It makes us feel like the underdogs, I guess. It's embarrassing when our games will get canceled because it's not like we can do anything about it. And it's particularly embarrassing when we're halfway through a game and the ref just can't stand to be out there anymore because of how much mud he's having to walk through. Even the best goalies can't dive in it. You see a lot of these up, up there teams still struggling. And I'm glad to know it's not just me, but it's not fun to know that you can't play and represent your team when the field is what's keeping you from playing your best. It's impactful to hear the experiences of the children in this community. And our district leaders and board want to ensure that all children feel like they have the resources they need to be successful in our schools. A turf field is a big investment, so let's talk a bit about how the funding would work. It is estimated that a new turf field, including labor, materials, and installation could cost up to $2 million. District leaders have met with a variety of community members to investigate the feasibility of receiving in-kind donations and community support, work, and equipment to help reduce the costs of the turf field installation. Plans and efforts have been made to ensure that work can be kept local to the maximum extent possible. So where would the money come from for this project? The money for this project would come from the district's Capital Improvements Fund. The Capital Improvements Fund is separate from the funds utilized to improve academic opportunities, pay salaries, and many of the other key expenses in the district. The Estacada School District currently has around $2.5 million in this account, designated specifically for updating our facilities. These funds are utilized to update our facilities and keep them safe, much like how homeowners factor home maintenance costs into their budget. One main source that generates money for the Capital Improvements Fund is the Construction Excise Tax. The Construction Excise Tax is a one-time tax that is generated every time a builder constructs a new home. Our district receives $1 for every square foot that is constructed within Estacada. These funds must be utilized to improve our campus and facilities. By making the decision to utilize capital improvement dollars to fund a turf field, we are ensuring that no money needs to be diverted from salaries or the classroom. Our district leaders continue to find innovative ways to fund the many updates our facilities need, while still working to protect academic spending. Over the past three years, the district has spent more than $2 million from the Capital Improvements Fund to fix condemned classrooms, conduct critical building repairs. Our schools have also applied for and been the recipient of more than $3 million in grant funds to update our school buildings. Despite this, more than $10 million in basic updates and fixes are still needed in our facilities and our district will need to keep receiving grants, community support, and intentionally investing in our Capital Improvements Fund to ensure that our aging facilities do not get in the way of student progress. Our students deserve facilities that are safe, that are able to support our growing community, our children, and that allow them to compete academically and athletically with surrounding communities. Funding the turf field is one step in this direction.